unselect this clip now it's going to remove the preview from the Glaxomate. You have to have the uh, clip selected the whole time that you want the preview. You can still work with the animation, of course, without the preview, but if you want the preview, you have to come back, select the click, clip, and click edit. Okay, now another point I want to make is, let's add another video track. And put something on a, a track or light layer higher. Just some text, okay? And put that here. And now we have this text on top of our bouncing ball animation. If we come back here and edit, the preview is only showing what's on the timeline below the track with the animation on it. So you don't have this text that's on another higher layer obstructing your work here. If you have multiple monitors or a very large monitor, you can leave Glaxnamate open and you can just uh, switch between editing different animations like so. Otherwise, uh, if your windows are occupying most of the screen or running maximized, I do recommend that you close Glaxtimate. Otherwise, if you put it in the background and you click edit, it's not going to automatically bring it on top unless it's cl closed and reopens.